And that'll do it for us for now. Our colleagues Elaine Keanu and Nikki Batiste take over after a quick break. They're going to talk to a teen from Brooklyn who's making moves in Hollywood with her shoe line. They will be featured at the Oscars. Keep it right here at your streaming CBS News. The workplace has shifted after three years of COVID. What it means for your pursuit of happiness. Join me on Primetime. Stream live on the free CBS News app. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Elaine Quijano. And I'm Nikki Batiste. Here's a look at the top stories we are following right now. The February jobs report comes in hotter than expected, but there are signs the labor market is cooling. We look at how the Federal Reserve may respond to the numbers. A new storm system brings more rain and snow to hard-hit California. Many areas are under a state of emergency as flood concerns rise. Plus, a mass shooting in Germany has left at least six people dead in the country's second largest city. What we are learning about the gunman, who police say took his own life. And later this hour, New York prosecutors signal possible criminal charges for former President Trump. This is all tied to his alleged hush money payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Plus, South by Southwest is one of the most popular music festivals in the U.S. We'll speak with the mayor of Austin, Texas, about what the event does for the city. We begin this hour with President Biden responding to the February jobs report. He touted his economic agenda in his speech today after the release of those numbers. Now, the economy added 311,000 jobs last month, down from more than 500,000 in January. The unemployment rate also ticked up to 3.6 percent. The president had this to say about the state of the economy earlier. What does this progress really mean for families trying to get by? I'll tell you. It means more people with good jobs and the dignity and security that comes with the paycheck. Senior White House and political correspondent Ed O'Keefe joins us now from the White House. Ed, what is the administration saying about how they plan to improve on these job numbers? Well, they're always pushing for improvement, but the president pointing out something that